Hello, welcome to the Christmas special of On The Bench. It's Christmas! I don't think Noddy Holder need worry about that, Rich. No, I don't think he is either. <laughs> Great highlight so far then, Matt, for tonight, for, for me. What about highlights of the programmes this year? Yeah, I think it's been a real diverse series, this one. So we've had quite a few different people on the show, people that have been on previously and we've kind of caught up with. One of my favourites was um, when Joe White came back on, so it was nice to see the progression from last series and then I met him on a VT that I did uh, out on about. So it was nice to have that kind of progression. And then I met Jade Windley that was on the show with him as well. So that was a really mm. nice one for me. What well, about it's a you? room on the bench, isn't there, tonight? I know. It's, it's normally full it's of like guests, isn't it? Yeah. yeah you can have a lie down or something. <laughs> for me, I think the Grim Reavers, the roller derby team, you know, the girls, we've had them on before, but it was nice a year on, as you say, to sort of see how they got on. Yeah. And some of those names they came up with as well. Super yeah. Yeah. And I think when people come back on the show, it's nice because you don't have to do the introductions and the what's the sport all about. You can just get into, you know, the, the nitty gritty of the sport. Mm. how they're getting on. So it's I don't know about for you, it, to me it's amazing the number of sports that go on in this region. Yeah. Apart from the main ones like we talk about football and rugby and so forth. Yeah. But to, to discover what else is going on in, in the area. I think it's been really interesting this year. We've really focused on American sports that have come over. So I've done an American football VT back end of last series. Um, ice hockey, obviously the Stingrays have been featured a lot this series and then we've had the, the basketball as well recently that I obviously excelled at with the, with my height. Um, so yeah, that, that's that been a really interesting uh, sort of focus for us. What series. about some of the VT shoots you've been on? Just yeah, the... I've done um, varied ones over the years, including my skydive, but um, oh, course, this yeah. year I've done um, Joe, Joe White with the Rassio bikes and I also met Jonathan there with the VT. Um, that was over in Louth way on. Basketball with the Hull Wasps. Uh, I've done a couple of other bits as well out and about, but it's been a bit more studio based this year for me. So mm. it's been what about the skydive though? How scary yeah. is that? Strangely not scary. I would do it again in a heartbeat. Would you? Yeah, I, I, I absolutely loved it. It's that seven seconds that you literally are just free fall and it's amazing mm. yeah I'd definitely do it again it's so much fun and what about the whole build up to it did you sleep the night before and the night after yeah yeah it was great I, I loved it I thought it was brilliant but um, I think we'll yeah. line you up and put you in the diary for that one again yeah great right <laughs> yes, please. we'll talk some more in a minute well time now for our first visit to one of the series best bits here's what happened when Matt Denson got invited to the Grimsby Freestyle Kickboxing Club where is it you may ask Orwell Street take a look at this On the bench has been invited to Orwell Street to find out more about the sport. Where is it, you may ask? We're here at Grimsby Freestyle Kickboxing in Grimsby. I'm going to have a look at the lessons, find out what goes on, meet one or two future champions. Come and join me. yourself, tell us where we are and tell us what you've been up to today. Uh, yeah, my name's John Tomlinson and this is the Grimsby Freestyle Kickboxing Club, which I own and run. The club's been running since 1997. Uh, we've been around uh, a few various locations within Grimsby, uh, but we've settled in the Oasis Health Club quite nicely. We look well established here. Yeah, we are. Uh, we, we came over in uh, 2008, 2009. Uh, we started off quite small in just this area and we've expanded uh, quite largely, to be fair, over the years and now we are a full-time professional centre. When I get also came in here, I noticed there were some juniors yeah. and up to seniors. Juniors start to be ninja, tell me a bit more about that. Correct, yeah, we start off at five. Five to seven years of age is our mini ninjas. Ooh. Mini ninjas, uh, great yeah, name. We get them in there, learn through play more than anything else at yes. that age. Yeah, a lot of distractions. Uh, once they get to eight, they then become a junior samurai and they work their way through the grades up until around about 10, 11. Junior Black Belt Academy is next. Right. Adult class is next. And hopefully we'll keep them until you know, until they're grey and old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've seen here. I want to get involved. Tell me how I do that. Okay, so we're based at Orwell Street in Grimsby. Uh, you can more than welcome just walk through the door. Okay. We'll give you a nice, friendly atmosphere when you come in. We'll get you straight into the classes. Uh, if you're sat at home, everyone's on the internet these days. Of course. So it's www.gfk. 
gfspacekc.co.uk. And we're also on Facebook. Obviously, everyone's on Facebook these days, so it's GF Space KC as well. There's no excuse. There's a, there's a way exactly. of getting here. Yeah, yeah, and the first two lessons are free. You, you have got nothing to lose. Brilliant. Also, what's this that I see you've got on the side of you? This is uh, uh, an Olympic torch, yes. which uh, I was nominated to run with, uh, obviously, back when the Olympics were there, yeah. uh, June 2012. Nominated by? Uh, co a couple of the guys in the club um, obviously nominated me through the website, and I was lucky enough to be chosen. How good is that? So, yeah, definitely. I was uh, honoured and uh, just gobsmacked. Proud moment for you and the club, I suspect. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, myself, obviously, I keep this here all the time just to let people know about it. And, and it is a genuine one. It. Yes. <laughs> I haven't bought it. <laughs> You're not bought it no. Well, listen, you've got a great club here. Thank you for your time. No problem at all. Is it Thank okay you. if we just want to hang around and have a look at it? Of course. Be my guest. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. taking some time out. Tell a little bit about yourself. My name is Jessica Ward, I'm 15 and I've been doing kickboxing for about five years now. And I've been to Ireland for two years and I, pe I compete around the country. Now I understand you've got a tournament coming up soon, is that right in Peterborough? Tell us a bit about that. In 2nd of November um, I'm off in two categories, ladies and young cadets, right. which like my age. You've been training now here, is that right? Yeah. And you've been what, here for what, five years training? Yeah, here, five years. Okay. It used to be called BoxFit. Okay. You enjoy it, I presume? Yeah, I really enjoy it. Okay. What's your goals? Where do you want to be? Um, I want to go go to Ireland again, which is a lot of money, but I'm going to try and go this year. Yes. Well, 2015, and hopefully get gold. Okay. So. Great ambition. Yeah. So, Anne, you've already been to Ireland once. Yeah. And you want you're going again, what, next year? Yeah, hopefully. It's 5th and 6th of March. It's a lot of money, but there's, like, loads of fighters. For, I think 3,500 fighters. Wow. So a lot of people go from around the world. So it's good competition? Yeah, really good, really good atmosphere. And the standard's good? Really high, yeah. Okay, um, and do you want to be fighting around the world? Yeah, and I want to get my black belt, so I've got a few more belts to go. But you're working hard at it? Yeah, really hard. Jeff, thank you for your time. Bye. Had a great night tonight. They've invited on the bench down to do kickboxing. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Great people. Even met some ninjas. Can't ask more than that. Grimpy Freestyle Kickboxing Club more than welcomes you. I suggest you give it a go. Good to see Matt Denson there with a bit of kickboxing again. Yeah, nice to see him getting his bum kicked. Yeah. <laughs> He's a versatile lad, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. We always throw him in at the deep end, which is really good fun to watch. Is there uh, anything he has bystander. Uh, Synchronised swimming, I think, should be the next one. Or uh, gymnastics, what's the one with a ribbon? I, th oh, I think uh, yeah. try and make him elegant would be a good task. Yeah, or even a bit of Morris dancing with those bells jingling of yours. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Rach, thanks for that. So, Matt Denton again. This time he escaped the studio to see what it's like to play badminton. How do you do, you may ask? Well, I'll let you decide. So, we've escaped from the studio. Just a short hop down the road to Oasis Winteringham. Why, I ask you? Badminton. Tonight there's a badminton session and we've been invited down. Don't ask me the name of these clubs, it's quite long and I will be here all night trying to work out what it is. What it is an amalgamation of five different clubs together, so we're going to find out and join in tonight. Come inside. So, Derek, thank you very much for taking your time No out. problem, Matt. Now, problem. please explain the name of the club and yep. how it was formed. Will do. Uh, North East Lincolnshire Badminton Development Group is the full name. Okay. We shortened that to NELBDG. Now, we've obviously got some classes on here and you do classes yeah. all over, I believe. We is do, right? yeah. We, we, we do a class every single day, actually. So, if someone wants to get hold of you, someone wants to get involved with the club, websites? Yeah, great stuff. We have a website which has been running now for six years and it's just quite simple again. It's the abbreviated name, NELBDG.co.uk. Just to introduce you to the racket, Matt, because okay. the way you hold the racket will determine some of the things I'm going to do with you in the next few minutes. Okay. So, all I want you to do is put your hand out as if you want to shake hands with your hand. And you put the racket in your hand. There we are. That's okay. it. That's it. While the racket's in your hand and the racket's standing up, you've, got, you've now got the right grip. That's how simple it is. Okay. What most people do, they hold it like that to make life easy. Ah, uh, right, but, okay. But, but now you can't, you can't do any rotation. So it's just Where a case that? of yeah. hand into the hand. When you hit it, you see you're going to shake it. Okay. If you can see my sweat band, which is why I wear these tight, as I go to hit the shake, I just rotate the arm. Okay. Right leg, that's it. 
right leg and recover. At the same time as you use the racket. Right leg, hold the foot, just a steady run and a steady hit. So you've got steady run. There you go. What backhand really means is you can see the backhand and your opponent can see the strings. So can you see the back of my hand right now? No. Can you now? Yes. That's wrong. That's what people call backhand, you see. So they go, they swing and the racket goes, the shuttle goes over there. If I use my thumb, I can actually, I can actually hit it straight at you. See? All it is, you've, 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 got from, you've got from that grip, which is your forehand, yeah. right? Now, you use your fingers to turn the racket like that, lift your thumb. And then you turn it. So you see now, if I'm looking at you now, I can see the strings, you can hit, you can see the back of your hand, I can't. Right. Now a fellow with the strength of yours, once you master that, just by ro ro sorry, rotate from the elbow and just hit. Okay. That's yeah. okay. So you've got no swing. If if you if you swing again, it's gonna go over there. Yeah. You you just rotate the elbow. There's a back hand. After all the sports we've tried, I might have found something I can actually do at a not bad level. Enjoy myself here tonight, and I'll tell you what, I guarantee you, I will be back. Matt Denson getting a lesson in how to get the best use of his shuttlecock. Yeah, very good backhand, I saw. Do you think he learned anything? Probably not. <laughs> well, I thought he did really well. Well, that's all for this half. At any rate, stay with us for part two for the whole Stingrays. And we've also, and wait for this, the outtakes of the season. I'm sure there's lots. Oh, there will be. See you soon. Hello, welcome back to part two. So, looking ahead, Rachel, what are you looking for this next year as far as your sporting hopes and wishes? Yeah, well, I'm hoping that the football teams locally do a little bit better than they have been doing. It's been a bit up and down this last season, so mm. fingers crossed they can pick up a little bit. They've been bit. knocking on the door, haven't they? Let's, talk, yeah. let's pick through them. I mean, Hull City at the moment in dire straits in the Premier League. Mm. To get away from the relegation zone has got to be an objective. Isn't it? Yeah, I mean, at the, at the beginning of the season, it seemed to be mid-table was the way they were going, and that seemed great, but then they mm. seemed to have done a bit of a nosedive, and now they're in the relegation battle. So it's what they can do to kind of dig the heels in and pull it back for them. What about the Mariners? Yeah, I mean, again, they're having a, a kind of up and down season. One week they're the best thing since sliced bread, and next week we're calling for the manager. So it's it's very difficult. The Scunthorpe United. Yeah, obviously they've had their um, changing manager this season as well. So he seems to be doing a lot better, got a bit more stability in the team, and hopefully they'll progress as well. What is it about the fans, uh, no matter how your team's doing? Because uh, they'll always break your heart, won't they? Your favourite yeah. football team. But the fans always come back for more, don't they? Yeah, I think that is being a true Brit. I think that is the kind of uh, quintessential thing of being English is you can knock them one week, but you're still there the next week supporting them. Yeah. So, the yeah, I think that's the big, biggest thing for us. And fabulous. Well, next up, Matt Denson was over the Humber Bridge for one thing only, the whole Stingrays. Yeah, the ice hockey team, you'll have seen them on TV. Let's have a look at them in action. We've gone over the bridge tonight for one reason only, to meet the whole Stingrays. Yeah, the ice hockey team. You've seen them on TV. We're here tonight during a training session to get up close and personal and find out more about them. We've actually managed to uh, get hold of the chairman. Please tell us a bit more about yourself and introduce yourself. Uh, I'm, I'm Bobby McEwen, uh, owner of the Hull Stingrays. Uh, I came to Hull 27, 28 years ago as a player when I mean, the, the facility first opened. And I've been through all the jobs basically in it. I've been player, coach, and now owner. So, um, what, In all honesty, where did you prefer? Player, coach? Well, everybody loves to be the player. It's Absolutely. Great facilities. The facility has been in Hull for uh, 27 years, it's been here with the council provided, is it? We're happy with it. Uh, obviously, I'd love to see a bigger one, a newer venue, 
but uh, this is a, it's been great for us, so, so we're happy with it. What's your sort of fan base then? Used to be fan size. Fan base is we've increased it. We started off when we took the club over, it was about 600. We're now we're pushing up towards a thousand, so it's a lot, isn't it? And it's yeah, when you think we're the fourth professional sport in the city, yeah, we're probably the only uh, team in this, the country that plays in the elite league, but. The other sports teams in the city are all in the top divisions as well, i.e. Hull City, yes. Premiership, and KR and FC are also in there. Wow. Now you're finding yourself this season? Uh, we've put a new team together, new coach. Yeah. Uh, everything's settling in. We've had a lot of injuries. We've not had a fit team for the whole season so far. A lot of injuries. So, but we're picking up. We're getting there. We've had a couple of good wins in the bounce. One of the last three home games here, so things are picking up. So from a chairman's point of view, you're very happy where you are? I'm very happy, but we can always do better. Oh, every chairman will say that, I'm sure they will. We well, thank you for your better. time. Yeah, no problem. I'll let you get back to your training. Thank you. Thank you. Omar, thank you very much for taking your time yeah, out. No now, we've dragged you out of the dressing room, but yeah. I want to know a bit more about you and your stint here with the Stingrays. Tell us more. Well, first of all, my name is, my full name is Omar Pasha. I'm the head player coach for the Hull Stingrays. Uh, actually, this is my second year in the organization. Last year, I was just a player, and uh, this year, I was uh, nominated as the player coach. Right, OK. How are you finding that? Uh, it was, uh, it's obviously different from last year. You know, that you have a lot of more responsibilities. It's a lot more time consuming. And it, but you know, it's a it's a great challenge for me, and I'm uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. So these are giving you a good platform then to actually you know play your sport and manage and learn as you go along. Is that right? It, yeah, it's a, it's a great opportunity. I mean, I'm uh, I think I'm privileged to be here. To be honest, it's uh, something that not many uh, positions are available in the no. world. To be honest, and uh, I'm lucky enough to do it, and uh, I'm running with it, and I'm um, like I said, I'm privileged to have it, and I'm I just want to keep going and hopefully get get results for the, for the scene. Team building and camaraderie, tell me a bit more about that, the bond that you've got as players. Well, you know what, you have, you have obviously we have a great great bond between the, the players here, you know, you have, uh, you have guys from last year, Maddie Davies and Carlo Ozone that, you know, are great guys and they helped the new guys here yes. in, uh, in the hall. And you know what, unfortunately we had a few guys leave, uh, you know, and we had injuries, but the, the guys that were here are battling really hard, whether we're short or whether we have, you know, injuries or guys leaving, they all battled hard, so so far I'm happy with, uh, with their character they've been showing from day one, and it's good leadership, and hopefully we can just take it to the next level right now. Well, with the passion you've got, I believe you'll do it. Omar, yeah. thank you for your yeah, time. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Yeah. We've been very privileged tonight to have this look behind the scenes at the Holsting race. They're invited into the dressing room, we've seen them on the ice, and we've seen what it takes to be a professional player. We wish them the very best of luck for the season. But don't forget, it doesn't all start at professional level. Find your nearest ice rink and get involved. Well, thanks to the Hull Stingrays for their highlights throughout the season, of course. We've got to know them well, haven't we, on the bench? We want to wish you luck for the Elite League. What are your hopes and your New Year's resolutions this year, Rach? Well, actually, this year I have them, and normally I, I them? don't. You've got more than well, one? Well, I've got one main one. I might think of another one by New Year. Uh, but my main one is to do something exciting every month. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but have something to look forward to every month. So at the end of the year, you've got at least a dozen things that you can say, yeah, that's what I did this year. Another skydive? Maybe. maybe, yeah. The thing is with a bungee jump, possibly this time. Yeah. I'm on holiday in March, so maybe a bungee jump over a bridge somewhere. New Year's resolutions, they always seem to be broken by the end of yeah. January, don't they? That's, that's what the I'm thing. thinking. Whereas if you do a nice one, not like, you know, fitness wise or anything like that, if you do a nice one, then it's something to look forward to. I always break New Year's resolutions, so I don't make them. But I think, really, for me, just to keep on the bench. Yeah. Pushing out the best in local sport. Yeah, definitely. It's all one big happy that's family, aren't we? Resolution. Sounds a bit cheesy. <laughs> we love it. I reckon it's pretty good. <laughs> Well, it's not all smooth sailing behind the scenes here at On The Bench. Here are some of our outtakes from this. On The Bench, we're invited to the Grimsby Freestyle Boxing Club here at Allwell Street in Grimsby to find out more about the sport. Let's kick out there. Yeah. What would my role with Harvey Nails be? It's normally like a pun on either your nickname or your last name, so... Hardy. Hardiest Nails. Hardiest Hardy's Nails. Nails, yeah, Hardiest Nails. That's good. <laughs> invited this evening to pop down to the Hull Arena to meet the one and only Hull Seahawks. Seahawks. <laughs> Sting. I'm making this up, aren't I? Okay, well, ah. Look at that. Know. It's actually a swimmer in the in the water. It's that it's far down. Far down, yeah. Well, 
the bench has been invited tonight to come down to uh, Orwell Street, where it is Grimsby Freestyle. What is it? I'm just check. That's pretty gross, to be fair. That is pretty cool. Look at that. Is it gross or cool? Oh, look. What is it? I can't see anything. Oh. There. Okay. So how did you feel that game went for you in there? I don't know which one you were talking about. Sorry, Saturday, I said I. Sorry. 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 One reason only tonight, and that is to the Hull Arena to meet the Hull ice hockey team, known as the. I oh, forgot the name again. Oh, where? What is it? Is this one for the Christmas outtakes? Oh, it's an amoeba. Yeah, we recorded. Yeah, you can see that. Look, there it goes. There it goes. It's like Nemo. <laughs> it's, it's certainly not finding my. <laughs> it's a flipping deck charge. Yeah. <laughs> it's it. Uh, do I dare On the bench, you've been invited down here to Orwell Street at Grimsby Freestyle Boxing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's going to get angry. <laughs> That's a sad part. <laughs> right, you ready? Sure. Sponsor. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that idea. We've mentioned Domino's enough to love that yeah, one. Exactly. <laughs> Should get a sponsor like that, put Cost or somebody in front. Well, because we're called on the bench, I really want a, a bench as a mascot. And like... Oh. <laughs> He's the one who said he didn't even like Christmas. He was in there bloody morning. I was the one who said I liked it. If we had a league table of outtake characters, I think Matt Denson would be right up there, wouldn't he? Yeah, I think I might be right behind him, but yeah, he'd definitely be at the top. Great fun, good to see you. Just before we go, some of the clubs had a special something to say. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the Hull Wasps. Gavin Marshall, head coach of the Hull Scorpions Baseball Club. From myself and the club, we'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, I'm Vanessa from Big Netball Club and we'd like to wish everybody out there Merry Christmas and all the best for 2015. So we just want to wish a Merry Christmas to everybody watching now at home from the Grimsby Freestyle Kickboxing Club. From all the instructors and the students here, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Well, that's it for this season and indeed for this year. Thanks to all the clubs, we need to say that, and to all those involved for their participation, Rach, and help throughout the season, both on and off camera. It's been great, hasn't it? Great. It fun. has. It's been a really good series. And thanks, of course, to you at home for watching. Just because we're not here doesn't mean to say we don't want to hear from you. Keep tweeting in at On The Bench TV. Absolutely. And from all the team here, we wish you all a Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and, and a, a Happy, happy New, New Year. year.